Other news tonight, Anchor Bay schools voting to keep the hallways safer with the addition of armed guards. 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozarjian is in Casco Township with a response from parents and the district. Ever since the mass shooting at Oxford High School happened, parents here have been applying the pressure. They want to make sure that the hallways their children walk in every day are safe. The Anger Bay School Board decided that hiring a private firm was the best option. What is your position as far as having armed security guards throughout the schools? I think that it's necessary. Stephanie Richards was one of only a few parents who attended the special board meeting. She respects that the district leaders are taking action ahead of her son's first day of school. In the event something did happen, when you compare Oxford to Uvalde, I mean, the amount of deaths and injuries is, is a lot reduced when you have somebody there. The call for action came immediately after four students were gunned down in a school district just an hour away from Anchor Bay. Board members say they have plans to add roughly 700 door barricades to school buildings, along with other updates. But parents wanted to know, what will you do in the meantime? I share those concerns. We need to do something. And what can we do in order to provide coverage in, in the most cost-effective manner? Superintendent Phil Jankowski says they landed on a firm called Fortis. They employ retired police officers and military veterans. They work with juveniles. They, they've dealt with school issues um, and they have the, the training and the experience and the background to handle a critical incident you know, should one occur. Fortis's chief executive officer, Brian Bastinelli, says his firm already works with Huron Valley schools. At Anchor Bay, they'd start with five officers and eventually expand to eight. Those officers would wear regular clothes and carry guns in a holster. It's somebody that is going to be integrated in the community, in the school, and kids will be comfortable with them being around. The only opposition was from board member John DeRue. He says nearby Chesterfield police could handle the job. I would be all about waiting a couple weeks, doing our the due diligence and making sure as board members we're putting the right people in the district to protect our kids. The superintendent asserts that local departments do not have the capacity or the personnel to cover the school district. He says these armed guards will rotate through different buildings so every single school has coverage. In Casco, I'm Alex Bozarjian for 7 Action News.